Hey everybody, Martin Chuck here. Hope you are enjoying the British Open. You know I am, and I'll tell you what, it's, uh, I give kudos to David Duvall. You know, he went out there, he played really poorly naturally. He's number one in the world at one time and a world beater. He was the absolute guy you wanted nothing to do with playing golf. He was that good. Jim Furyk's an old buddy of mine, and I asked Jim back when Jim had already won a couple events, I said, who's the best player out there? And he goes, far and away Duval. This was back, obviously, pre-Tiger, but I'll tell you what, Duval was the man. And so he went out there. He could have easily no-carded it, but he didn't. He posted a score, and he put it up there. And in golf, sometimes you are the windshield, and sometimes you are the bug. And he was the bug today, but I, give him a, I applaud that he went out and played, and he had some tough situation. He just put up a score. So anyway, I want to do a few things on the plane, mate. I can't answer questions. I apologize. I'm just here solo in my garage, and my phone may ring, and if it does, my, the video is over. But anyway, you see the rail portion, you see the belt portion, right? So people are, the plane made purchasers, thank you so much. I know on behalf of David Woods and I, we are so thrilled that you've elected to buy one of these and work with it. And we see some things. First off, when you get it, there's a bit, there's a black piece of felt that it was actually unbeknownst to me, was on here to protect the hook and loop portion from rubbing in transit. So peel that felt off and throw it away. And if you want, you can adjust the length of the belt. You can make it longer or shorter by just kind of taking it apart here and adjusting that dimension. You know, if, if you want to make it shorter, just make it shorter. If you want to make it longer, make it its maximum. And then you're sort of ready to go. So the right-handed golfer, we see people wearing it too high. Okay, um, wear it low. If you're going to make a mistake, wear it too low. Kind of almost squeezing your butt a little bit. So I don't have, well, there, I don't have a belt on today, but um, <clears throat> if I did, my belt buckle would be right there. And it's worn low. It's going to not squish my microphone back here. So it's worn low on the booty, or low on the belt. And so it's uh, oh, a couple inches to the right of where my belt buckle would be. And it's on nice and tight. Like, put it on, get hold of that rail, and give this the proper squeeze. And I put it on students, right? I was like, whoa, you know, because I'm putting it on pretty tight. And then we work you through the protocols, and naturally we want you to get started with the pitch motion band. So the pitch motion band goes in the first, you know, you're going to use that first channel up here about six inches below the grip and kind of work through the protocols. And I haven't hit any balls yet today, but I'm going to kind of warm up a little bit. And... <clears throat> We'll go from there. Um, other things, the, the club connector, you know, if you can't get it on securely, shafts are a little bit different, right? You got different dimensions. So if you can't turn the thumb screw and get it on securely, say you you have a regular shaft, a 350, and it wants to wriggle a little bit, okay? A little bit of rubbing alcohol to take some of that little bit of the kind of grease, if you will, off the shaft. And then if that doesn't work for you, go ahead and just put a little piece of electrical tape, a couple of them on the inside of that channel right there, and you will add a bit of dimension of thickness, and that'll solve your problems. And there's one permanent fix, and we have a video coming up for that that take you a couple minutes with a piece of sandpaper, and you're ready to go. So I'm loving all the interaction, interaction on Instagram, so thanks so much. You know, the plane mate, and I'm making a video face on and down the line right now that I'll post on YouTube as well. But... You know, these dimensions, I see people kind of going back here and not really you t taking the playmate, working it with, the, we call it the band in the hands, like keeping this dimension, a bit of tension here, and keeping it on there to what we call position two or first parallel. So there's a little bit of tension there. And we want you to feel that. And we want you to be able to rotate and relocate that on both sides. So the video, when you watch this on YouTube, you'll see face on and down the line. And for Instagram Live right now, it's just just a down the line view. So as I warm up and I hit a few shots, clubs off the ground, I have a measure here, and I'm just basically going through these slowly for a little while to get this feeling. And you'll notice where this finish is. The band, okay, is on my forearm, and it's to the right of the shaft. We don't want to see too much of this going on, too much of the club kicking out and going inside the hand path. So the feels that we want you to develop with the plane mate. Get organ, my, when I say we, I'm talking to my buddy David Woods at David Woods PGA, my longtime pal, director of golf at the Vintage Club. Another Canuck, another Canadian hockey player, buddy. And so the feels, progressing through this, I could put the red band on, and for those of you kind of trying to learn how to shallow, 
in, with rotation in mind, let's go through some exercises. So here's the red band, you know, and I saw David Clark has one of these. He's in Ireland right now. I'm sorry, Darren Clark. What am I saying? David, I'll be all right. Um, Darren is a great dude, golfaholic, still smashes it, and I think he shot, he shot par today, played great, and I want to pl continue playing great. So after the round, he had the red band on, and he was just making some practice, some feels, some stretches, because this is a bit of a workout. The green one hit golf balls with this one. If you're a bear like Darren Clark, maybe you can hit some golf balls with this, but don't, don't try to be the tough guy. Go ahead and just work through these physical feels. Oh, and by the way, with the belt, if you wear it too high, it'll get up in your waist, and it'll slop around in here, okay? Wear it a little low, and for the ladies, you're going to feel it's, you're going to wear it a bit more on the hips, and go ahead and, like I said, give that thing, tighten that thing down. Get that on nice and tight, okay? Wear it a little bit lower. Don't wear it up here in the waist. And with the red band, working on these positions, get organized. So face on, it'll look something like this. You know, if you don't like the band close to your wrist, you can wear the rail another half inch, inch more to the right, which is fine, okay? If you find over time that this isn't gliding as nicely, get a little chapstick, put a little chapstick little wax on the rail, it'll move great. Just the feels you want to work on. A dress feel. Feel that sense of push. Going to P2, that sense of push. Okay, so you can just work on that sense of going to P2 correctly because so many golfers and you coaches out there that might be tuned in, you'll know that we see so much of this, right? Early roll, no body motion. So by having a little bit of tension here, this sensation of getting the hips to activate a little bit more, pushing into the ground, getting this, getting the arms and, and body to work a little bit more together. And you can see how the band is almost on my right hand. And then to get from here up into a place where you can shallow, it feels a bit more vertical. Like that's a lot of work right there. To get it a bit more vertical to where we can relax the band and unwind. So just working through this on your own a few times. At the PGA show, we put a lot of people through this and, and it, you know, I had them kind of hold these positions. And it's hard work right now. Hold, 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 hold. Relax and rotate to semi follow through. Do that a series of times. And that shaft's a bit more vertical than it would be in my typical golf swing. Because the last thing we want to do is get this thing over here. I mean, look at what Matthew Wolf and, and Gigi are doing. They get the club out, out like a ton so there's a chance to shallow so they can unwind it. So the last thing we want to do is go here, and that's going to inspire the wrong motion. So put those feels in, a little bit more vertical. Let it shallow. And when it shallows, watch. I can shallow the face wide open or I can shallow and control the face with my wrist so the face doesn't point at the sky. And then from here we can unwind and we can hit it. So, whew, that's actually a workout. Let's see what we're doing here. It would appear, it would appear that I'm a moron. I did not have my mic on. So the YouTube video has all the sounds. So for those of you listening in on Instagram, I apologize. Um, complete rookie error. No sound. Way to go, Chucky. Anyway, the red fitness band. Feel it. Go to P2. Vertical. Hold, 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 hold. Relax. Unwind to semi fall through. Okay? I mean, I can try to hit a shot with this, but chances are I'll miss. And if I do, it's just small little strikes. And what I like people to do is go ahead and put it on an 8 iron or a 7 iron. Hit a few shots with a green band. Let's put the green band on. Small clip down on the club connector. Big clip on the rail. So put it on an 8 iron or a 7 iron. And hit 4 or 5 balls. And then just unclip it, set it aside, and hit the next club up or down the set. So up or down the set. So this is a seven iron. I hit four or five balls with this.
And what's easy is just to take it off, grab the next club. Because I don't want you hitting too many balls in a row without kind of blending the feel. So that was a seven iron, I'd grab an eight iron. And right now my arms feel like they've done some work so the club feels really light. And then this next club up the, or down the food chain actually, let's go ahead and hit one. And that feels nice, feels like it's kind of on a rail. So Instagrammers, YouTubers, sorry about the mic issue, I'll be a little smarter next time. Martin Chuck signing off. Hope you're having a great day. Enjoy the British Open. It's too much fun. I got to play over there last year. It's a spectacular golf course. And man, those guys are good because it is a toughie and you got to drive your golf ball. So enjoy the British Open and thanks so much for your support. And post, if you have a plane mate, go ahead and post something because David and I will take a look at it and when we have some time, we'll make a comment. So have a great day and uh, be well.